Welcome back. Well, a beauty across the area today. Beautiful aerial shot here, courtesy of our drone cam. Taylor Bonan getting the shot over Moncas Park. So let's take this full and get over to the weather wall. And again, showing you just a beautiful day. Things greening up across Acadiana. Some high clouds out there. We're going to see plenty of this this weekend, similar to today, tomorrow, but more high clouds as we head into Sunday and low clouds will be building in courtesy of southerly winds. Cajun Dome out there as well. But again, things are not only green, but just a week or two ago, it was a lighter shade of green. Now we're darker shade of green as things are really greening up. Unfortunately, that's bad news for the pollen count as we showed you earlier. Let's take a look at the big picture across the U.S. It's not spring elsewhere. Winter, uh, well, spring, <laughs> spring uh, snows across much of the Rockies back to the west of the Sierra Nevada. And then they're worried about flooding in California. But things have been moving slowly, so we still have that system there. System on the East Coast hasn't moved a whole lot, and that's why our weather has been steady and quiet over the last couple of days. High pressure now is pushed off to the east, so now we're starting to see southeasterly winds. That means milder temperatures at night and eventually warmer temperatures during the day as well, depending on the cloud cover. So we see those high clouds across the area. We'll call a fair to partly cloudy skies. Upper 50s, lower 60s for us tonight, so much milder. And then tomorrow, it'll be warm. Upper 70s to lower 80s with mostly sunny skies. Again, some high clouds from time to time and notice those high clouds thicken up more so on Sunday and we'll be getting some moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. So tomorrow night into Sunday morning temperatures holding in the 60s high humidity as well, but a breeze uh, winds gusting to about 20 tomorrow about 25 on Sunday. It's going to be a breezy Easter Sunday, but temperatures topping out in the lower 80s and it looks to stay dry and the same goes into Monday. It's going to be dry, but the winds actually crank up in response to this low pressure and it's going to be producing Producing severe weather to our north come Monday afternoon. That same front moves through here on Tuesday, but we're not expecting severe weather with it here. So overnight tonight, mid to upper 50s to lower 60s, your low. Then tomorrow, upper 70s to lower 80s. Tomorrow night, as we mentioned, temperatures holding in the mid 60s. That's where they'll be for sunrise services on Easter Sunday and then Sunday afternoon into the lower 80s for sure and lower 80s again on Monday. So overnight tonight, 59 the low, fair, a damp gulf breeze coming in. You'll feel that humidity and it'll be a little chill to it as well, but you kind of kind of feel and maybe even smell the Gulf of Mexico. That's usually on the good first night where you have that return flow coming in, or at least you're smelling the wetlands. I don't know what 81 the high tomorrow. Great start to the weekend, but again, those high clouds moving across the area from time to time. So we'll call it a sun and cloud mix. More clouds than sun on Sunday, but we'll see intervals of sun for Easter Sunday. Breezy each afternoon through Monday. Here's your rain chance on Monday and again, it Looks like a, a severe weather threat well north of us. Just the chance of showers, few storms, maybe central Louisiana on north where we could see a strong storm, but not overly concerning system. And then another nice stretch of weather that carries us into next weekend. And then we got to watch the Monday that follows as that will be the solar eclipse day. Right now, mostly cloudy, slight chance of rain on that day. We'll talk more about that coming up on Acadiana's News Channel at 10. That's it for weather for now. We'll be back right after the break.